Hey guys, this is Paul Gorman, the Golf Vacation Pro, taking you on the best golf travel experiences of your life. Today, you're going to see a little video with Demo and Thanos, two brothers, hitting flop shots like Philly. Um, like, comment, subscribe below, and I hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you when I'm done. So what I try to do is splash under the, under the ball, right? I treat this thing like a bird's nest, and the nest is a little circle like a donut chain around the, the ball, right? So if I go in and I can bang the donut or the bird's nest, it's going to jostle the ball out over the bunker into the cup. That's my goal. So when I make the strike through here, guys, how much grass is moving on the ground? One inch? How many? Like one or two, okay. How many inches is moving through there? Oh, like a foot. Uh, like a foot. <laughs> I thought you meant deep. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, probably is about an inch deep. But that just means that you don't have to be perfect. Like a lot of people are going to get in here and try to hit the ball first. When you try to hit the ball first, you hit them into the bunker and you just don't get them in the air. So I, you know, want you guys to set up at least one or two inches behind the ball or behind the nest and see if you can just bang the nest. Ooh, right? See if I can do it a little higher. Left. You think? I mean, I can do better, right? Maybe. Maybe. That's what I'm talking about. Your weapon? So should we hit the ball first, guys? No. Okay. Back of the grass. Back of the grass. Like you got yours in a deep nest, so you got to make sure that you set the club at least two inches behind the ball and try to hit two inches. Yeah. And keep moving the club through. Like a regular chip shot? Yeah, you're going to get a bit further away and lower the shaft so the shaft angle is flatter like a chopper blade. You mean like flatter. that, yeah. Right? So it's lower below your zipper, right? Good one. Yeah. It hit the I heard it. Yeah, it hit the flag. Did it go in? Probably not. I don't know. Perfect. Feel that sound. There it is. Good job, Demo. You already hit the pin once. Yep. Love it. Philly flop going on. A little further behind the ball. Yeah, I want your wrists all the way out. Nice. Nice ball. Ooh. Soft flop. That was good. Hard lie there. Hmm. Okay. Now you need your club face open a little bit. You know what that is? Yep, there you go. Put it right back here. Left face a little open. Yep. Back away from your arms. Extend them out. Yep. That's the way you like anyway, right? Here we go, wide arm boy. Yes. I mean, he's a natural at these. You know, he really is. He's got really good hands. A little further behind the ball with the club head there, Thanos. Move it. Yeah, and try to just open the face, extend those arms. So good. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll show you though. Stand back behind me and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do with your wrists, okay? Stand right next to a spot right next to that dirt there. Yeah, there you go. So here we go. I got my hands fully extended, the wrists, right? So now all I gotta do is swing that extension around the, the body a little. Right? So if I get too close, then I might pull something like this. You want to get extended out and then not change anything and just keep moving the body through. The body is going to be the upper body mostly, okay? You get what I'm saying? Yep. Cool. Are you yawning over there because it's so easy? Sure. Mm -hmm. Like that. Got it? You want more like a slice? Open yeah, face exactly. Clip? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Grip it. 
So this would be your arms extended with the wrist joints extended, right? Just like this, not hinged or anything. And then you're, you're gonna just not change anything and move it around in a circle on the ground, right? Twist your body around, almost. Mm -hmm. Keep your body over the, the ground, but turn it through. There you go. You just gave it a little whiplash at the end, but it was okay. This is the whiplash. Like this? Yeah. You, wanna stay you just want to keep the thumbs away from the target. So if I'm hitting that way, I would come through and the thumbs would never go to the target. Just you turn and they start coming to the target a little, but slow. All right. Love that setup. I knew that was going to be good. The thumbs were good, huh? Good tip from your pro. So you wouldn't want to rotate the wrist at the end? No. Mm -mm. Not in this shot or in a bunker shot. Nice. Yes, sir. Right there. That's high sky pilot there, coming down like a butterfly with sore feet. Just Pin. oh, oh yeah, there's that oh, COVID, COVID mom. Yes, nice. ah, Demo. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It sounded great. Oh yeah. Piece yeah. of cake, huh? Yeah. Can you feel those, how easy it is when the arms are just straight and the wrists aren't doing anything? You just spin a Nike. Spin it one way, spin it another. Keeping that face really open. You gotta do it, you know? You find it easier to keep it open when your thumbs stay hitchhiking that way? Never changing, right? Got oh. nice. Now, Thanos, you've got one of these lights. Hold on one second, okay? Because this is a little tricky. Come on over here, Dean. This situation here is, come on, Demo, stand over here. You can see your brother's golf ball is actually below his feet. And if you swing too much around this way, you won't quite get to the ball, okay? So with this particular situation, when the ball is below your feet, you have to swing it a little more straight back, okay? You still want the face open, go ahead. And the wrist still kind of extended with the arms. But instead of going this way so much, you're gonna just feel a little more, just a little more back. Let me get that right here for you. There you go. Can you see the situation with the feet like that? So you gotta alter the style a little bit. And your ball, you kind of had some above your feet flat. That's going to be good here. Yep. There's a little more power and that would have been the best. Nice. Nice shot. Yeah. All right, boys. We're going to head up this way. So that was a soft, soft pitch shot or the Philly flop, we call it, right? Who's your favorite golfer? Tiger Woods. He copied me, Tiger Woods. Wow. <laughs> what happened me. to little G? You're no one's favorite, Corman. I'll get used to it. I'll just keep making birdies, taking trophies, kissing babies. That's all you need to do. Making cash. Let's go, boys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Those guys hitting those open face floppers, nothing better than that. So anyway, click the link in the description below and I've got three free videos for you. And if you have any questions or comments, send them out, I'll get them right back to you. Again, I really appreciate your support. It's great to see you.